Every century brings along new problems and novel solutions. And the 21st century brought to the forefront environmental and social concerns that went in hand with economic growth, but also made innovative solutions possible thanks to the advanced technologies and communication tools it offered. In the new world order, where boundaries between the countries and the industries disappeared, approaches that emphasize communication and cooperation are indispensable. Every problem brought about by the century itself is actually a new test we need to stand. But nobody has to pass this test by himself alone. A new concept that develops the culture of cooperation offers added value for all its participants and emphasizes environmental and social benefits at the same time. It unites companies and organizations with vision in a dynamic network that offers multi-dimensional opportunities. The name of this innovative approach is industrial symbiosis. The term industrial symbiosis is actually a relatively new term for most of us. However, we know the content of this concept. Industrial symbiosis means value creation and creation of both economic and environmental benefits by two or more organizations or businesses that act in cooperation in terms of making business decisions and utilizing common resources. With industrial symbiosis, the waste of one establishment becomes the raw material of the other. And sharing is not limited to waste materials only. All kinds of resources, be it energy, labor, logistics and expertise, are efficiently shared and utilized via this system. The first industrial symbiosis practices emerged in Denmark in the 1970s, and the concept is currently very common in European and North American countries, in addition to many other countries of the world, including South Korea, China, Mexico, Brazil and Australia. The National Industrial Symbiosis Program that was initiated in 2005 and is still carried out in the United Kingdom is one of the most successful examples of industrial symbiosis in the world. With the program, businesses have managed to increase their cost savings by £250 million, while they achieved a landfill diversion of 9 million tonnes and their carbon dioxide decreased by 8 million tonnes. The program also created new jobs and employment. Around eight times of the investment made by the state in this program returned to the Treasury in the form of direct tax revenue.